welcome back to the Warcast with the regular crew, me, Lionheart, and Alex the Rambler. We're here today to talk about absolutely nothing because nothing's been released, nothing's been announced, and we don't really know what to say. Yeah, it's welcome. gonna be a really short one today, isn't Thank it? Thank you, everyone, for watching. Take care. And there's my Bye. for uh, washi. I'm gonna eat that now while you two. Uh, oh wait, no this what... this this thing did this little thing did get announced. Um, what? You probably never heard of it though. Um, it's it's really niche. Um, I, I'm. I, uh, I don't know what it's going to be like, but it's, it's uh, Total War Warhammer 3. Oh, it's been a pretty hidden <laughs> announcement. You'd only yeah. know it if you're part of like, this select Discord group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. War, Warcast exclusive announcement now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're here because, yeah, we released the last one, didn't we? About Cyberpunk, just as Warhammer 3 was announced. I think everyone was thinking, hang on, they're not covering Warhammer 3. You know, now, actually, before we knew. So, yeah, yeah we're here. Cyberpunk's gone. That's out of the way now. That's dead. Um, we're here with Warhammer 3. Yeah, so exciting news. Yes. The, the final chapter of the trilogy. Um, everyone was going mad, mad about Cathay. Cathay, is it Cathay? 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 Cathay. I I was, yeah, I've never Cathay. heard of him. I honestly don't yeah. know much about the Warhammer is world. It, is, it, is it like, is it, yeah, I was like, everyone's like going mental on the train. I was like, okay. It, yeah. It's, it's basically because <laughs> Cathay doesn't have a full army list. Um, they've wow. they've never had. I don't I don't know if they've ever had that many units ever produced. I don't know like the full amount, but I do know that they've never had a full army book or a full army list ever released. I think they in a lot of instances they were only kind of yes. just briefly yeah. m mentioned or referred to. Um, yes, but essen essentially they're uh, Warhammer China basically. Um, You're gonna say okay. East of the, I think that's... Games Workshop are working with CA, aren't they, closely at the moment to yeah. Uh, get so the, they've the they've announced right. that. Cathay and Kislev are actually going to uh they're gonna start working on fleshing them out with official mm. I think official models for both, or at least uh, not necessarily models, but maybe official um official army lists for both of them to kind of flush them out working alongside CA for, for the third game. Because obviously they've just brought back the old old world Warhammer fantasy. They've just um kind of revived it after they nuked it for Age of mm. Sigmar. Um, so they're starting to come back to to all of the Warhammer Fantasy battle stuff, which I think in part is potentially due to the popularity of the Total War Warhammer series. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, they've Games Workshop have said you know they're going to 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 flesh them out as well because obviously CA are going to need more fleshed out factions uh, or army lists so they can actually build all the models. I mean, it's not it's not um, beyond what CA can do to actually kind of invent units that would fit because they've done that with some other factions oh, yeah they have they've, they have yeah they could they created what? silostra deer fan for the vampire coast and she's a completely original character so they might they might create some original characters potentially i guess for some of these factions uh they might be allowed to create some original units as well but i guess it will kind of depend what sort of deal they've got with games workshop whether games workshop's handling all the kind of unit army list creation or or what but yeah i think so many people were surprised by Cathay's because you know often they're just a little footnote um people were expecting them to come out with obviously the demons of chaos you've got the the chaos gods but uh kislev was a was a pretty high up there but you know maybe chaos dwarves or ogre kingdoms because those are both a lot more kind of fleshed out well um they might still be announced at a later point for all we know. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they, well, I mean, they only it's guaranteed. It they're going to be uh, six factions. That's half of what? There's six factions in the... There's six factions, yeah. There's four the chaos. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, and there's it's a the pre-order one. Yeah, there's, it's the most factions they've launched a Warhammer game with. And nine legendary yeah. lords. Are four of them chaos? Yes. yes. Cool, so which I'm happy that, about. No, but why isn't that one faction? Um, under different... Um, four... four, well, four Different... Four legendary lords in yeah. one faction. Is so initially, I thought they were. I thought each of them are specialized to a, a chaos god, Corn, Slanesh, Thinch, and Nurgle. And initially, yeah. I thought they would all share the same kind of base roster, and they'd have a few unique yeah. um, elite units to represent the god, kind yeah. of like how the Skaven are in the game, right? All the Skaven yeah, yes. have the same base roster, and in fact, most of the elite roster. It's just one or chaos two. Chaos in it's, one did. It's it's just one or two kind of unique units, or it's primarily the specific faction mechanics. They all have a different faction mechanic. Ikit Claw has nukes. Uh, Snitch has his assassin kind of hit list thing. 
uh, Throt has his laboratory and so on. I thought it was going to be like that, but I was actually talking about this on, on a Twitch stream the other day and my community were like, no, no, no. Apparently each of each of those Chaos Gods has a fairly extensive roster themselves. So apparently they will all be, they won't t potentially have that much kind of shared unit pools at all. It might You might have maybe Chaos Cultists that are shared across all of them. But I, I thought they were going to be like Skaven. No. Um, uh, but apparently they're I all very they different. I hope they are different because to be honest with you, it needs to prove it and justify its fifty pound price tag. It's fifty, 50 pounds. pounds. Yes, that's got ten to, pounds more you've got, than you've Warhammer got, you've, Two, right? Yeah, you've got to get you've got to get it right. You've got to give us some diversity across those factions for fifty pounds. So yeah, you've got then. So if you've got four unique um, chaos factions, chaos gods, each with their own kind of fairly varied pool of units plus they'll have their own unique faction mechanic of some kind they'll probably have some unifying thing but they'll probably have you know blood for the blood god will be about collecting skulls or something like that for unlocking more cool. powerful units or something maybe uh, cool. nurgle will be about i don't know yeah. infecting settlements or something like that for some kind of i, I don't know pure speculation which is but... which is which is the which is the one that's like in, involved in temptation and lost uh, and slanesh like, slanesh that's that's yeah. my that's my go-to um, You're still a boy, are you? Yeah. No. Well, Legends already done that. Don't you see it on Twitter? He's uh, linked to all three of us with Nurgle. He did Total War YouTubers, and we went into the Nurgle bracket. Oh, did one. we? So, <laughs> yeah. I don't know why what the connection was, uh, but was yeah, it? yeah. You're in Nurgle. We're all in Nurgle. We were in Nurgle. What's now? What is Nurgle? Nurgle's what's Nurgle? Lord of Plague. Oh, we are a plague. We, the Warcast is a plague <laughs> on the Creative Assembly community. Where, where's that? I don't see. Uh, it if, you go, if, if you go on, if you go on Mrs. Legend of Total War, oh, it's right. on there. Oh, yeah. But yeah so you've got you've got four Chaos factions, and then you've got Cathay and Kislev, yeah, Kislev. which are going to be very different. Russia. So those will be like that's like Russia, isn't it? Kislev, yeah, sort of Slavic Russian, yeah. Russia. Yeah, uh, I mean you've got you've got Bear Cav, which I'm just super excited by. Just can't wait to thinking, probably get them slaughtered. Thinking of the map, yeah, <laughs> the Bear Cav will be awesome actually. Thinking of the map, I would imagine a lot of open flat plains. If we're talking eastern sort of plains, and if it's so you've got geographically, you've got mountains. Uh, on the kind of the far western side and then like Kislev so you'll have like that mm. little bit of Kislev from the old world and you've got a mountain range and then yeah you've got rolling rolling hills and, and plains where the Chaos yeah. Dwarves and the Ogre Kingdoms are and then you've got another set of mountains and then past mm. them is where Grand Cathay will be <laughs> look at Rambler's face what are, you what, are you, what are you thinking there Rambler are you thinking off to the east a lot of uh, so larger map yeah yeah, it's apparently, it's the largest map, isn't it? Yeah, apparently in an interview they said it's uh, uh, roughly two times larger than the Vortex campaign map for Warhammer 2. Interesting, yeah. Which is going to be that's that's how much. the big boy. Hmm? Does it need to be that much bigger? Well, I think the way they've the way they've said it is that you'll be you'll be battling over that kind of eastern land but they've also said you'll be then going into the realm of chaos itself yeah yeah you so go into chaos i then. don't know if they're going how much of the realm of chaos they're gonna oh. show whether it would be and where they put it whether they put that as like a northern part of the map or whether you actually go through the chaos gates themselves and it adds another layer uh, and you kind of go somewhere else a republic of play was talking in a video he did and yeah it kind of makes me think it be a more advanced version of it remember remember empire when he used to go to the, I know the, you're the say, America yeah. and he used the, to go like different gateway portals you can go to. Of war. Yeah. Yeah. It, it could be like that. It could be like that. So um, it might be two times bigger because it's essentially kind of two maps. Yeah. Um, yeah. I hope they uh, uh, maybe enable you to be able to move your armies further from the start. Yeah. I, I still find that a little bit annoying with, with, with Total War. Uh, particularly the newer ones, of how long it takes you to get anywhere. Yeah, um, so yeah. If they may, it really takes you forever to get anywhere in Warhammer Two. Like, if you need to go, if you need to send one army from, like, even if you only have ten settlements, it'll still take you forever well, to get to get there. It's interesting, actually, when you look at it, because obviously, when let's talk about the bigger picture of the not mortal empires, but the grand campaign of one, two, and three. I believe oh. that will be the biggest they've ever done, and then oh, yeah. that gets to the point. Where apparently pathfinding could be could become an issue, and 
it kind of affects the performance in AI. So that would be maybe a bit of a hurdle for them to look at when they bring this out. And I can imagine it being another cut down variant, like the Mortal Empires was a cut down of one and two, wasn't it? They crammed things in and moved things yeah. around. Well, you got, I mean, the old world survived pretty much in, in fact, it got, it's been expanded now. Uh, it's the Warhammer 2 kind of map that got the most hit because the whole of mm. the Dark Elf bit mm. got squished. You had Lustria and the Southlands basically have them kind of chopped off three quarters of the way down. Yeah, um, yeah. In a, in a way, if they if they if they're making this the biggest one, I kind of hope that they just they add those bits in and they unsquish it a little bit. Yeah. Um, I kind of I don't know. I'd rather because it's. I mean, surely going into that <laughs> into that campaign mode, yeah. you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be the expectation should be that it is going to be a long massive campaign right so mm. i think if they unsquish Huge. those bits and add them in is that really going to make that much of a of a difference when it's already going to be an absolute chonky absolute. boy of a campaign can you, can you being listen man and i and then conking all the way over in the lands of kids like would take forever wouldn't it be a huge i think, I think huge they'll, they'll probably kind of deal with that by obviously having victory objectives that are set you know within yeah, reachable yeah. areas and yeah. then ultimately it's up to, if you want to go and conquer kislev and then complain that you went to conquer Kislev and it took forever, then it'll be like, well, it's not a, you don't have to do that, right? It's not yeah, part of your victory. No. You, you, you as a player chose that decision. So you're traveling a massive part of the map. Hence, it took you a while sort of thing. Um, do, do, do you think um, what your thoughts about the pre-order um, DLC, which obviously then will be available for a week after launch, won't it? Um, yeah, I mean, like, uh, Chaos, uh, Chaos to Wars? Maybe. Is there a is there is there a pre, is, is that a thing? There's going to be yeah, an early adopter yeah. bonus, um, yeah. but it'll be the same. I I think it's roughly along the same line as the Norska uh, early adopter bonus was. They haven't confirmed as to whether it will be playable in Warhammer Two because obviously Norska was playable in Warhammer One, but you got that free if you bought or pre-ordered Warhammer Two. Um, mm. But I don't. They haven't said any details on it yet so it might be that whatever the early adopter bonus is you won't be able to play it right away in warhammer 2 you'll have to it'll only be playable in warhammer 3 or in the combined map yeah so we'll kind of have to wait and see but yeah okay. it, it could be chaos dwarves um could be Ogre kingdoms coming. potentially uh i mean we'll get I mean, we'll it, get it, both of those it's um it will be a while until we get the grand campaign it'll be probably a month or two months won't it so it kind of launches the game again doesn't it with the yeah the combined three map. I'm trying to remember how long it was okay. until Mortal Empires came out for two. It was a month. It was, a it was, month. Yeah. It was more than a month. Was it? Was it? Well, it, it came they... out the 19th of October, I think it came out, and wasn't uh, Warhammer at the beginning of September? Of September. The end oh, of yes, September. that wasn't that wasn't that long yeah. then. Yeah, I think I think it was because the original plan was, was to trailer. launch with it. That but... was a trailer, maybe. That was a trailer. That could oh, be. Trailer. I could be wrong. Yeah, that was a trailer. But I know they had Mortal a lot of problems. Empires came out in October. October 2017 apparently. Yeah. Okay, then yeah. So it was only oh, about a month that's after. Not actually, it wasn't a month. You were right. Yeah. I think I think but... originally they had wanted it to come out at launch, but they couldn't yeah. get Norska to yeah. fit in properly or something like that. So they had to rebuild it. I think they said it wasn't quite a case of stitching the two maps together. They actually had to build essentially a third map, which included the whole geography of one and two. So mm. I I guess mm. they potentially had to do that again again for game three. So it might be something that obviously yeah. takes a little bit longer. Um, yeah, happy happy map building, CA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get on um, it, get cracking. My law is a bit hazy, like uh, like Rambler's, is in the fact that, I mean, what's the difference then between Chaos in Warhammer 1 and the, the Demons of Chaos now? What's the difference between sort of, you know... Um, I've forgotten the freaking names of Warhammer. Who the, who the Ar lords? Ar Archeon, Ar Sigvald, yeah, and yeah, Kolek. exactly, yeah, Kolek. What's so, between that and these I mean, ones? The, the those guys are kind of like the they're the warriors. Okay, so they're, 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 they're not the gods. yeah, they're the ah, yeah, they're okay. the warriors yeah. and the and the kind of the the foot soldiers, the grunts, and these guys, yeah, are the other gods with their actual demonic spawn and their ah, own okay. specific, unique um, did, ways did of have, corruption. Didn't we have Zeech? In the first one, you had a um, uh, you had Sartorial, the uh, the, the the watcher, I think, something like that. Sartorial, along those lines, um, the big bird boy. Yeah, I oh, was. He is a, I believe he's 
like a servant of Zinch, not Zinch himself. Uh, uh, but okay. I think it might well be that Zinch takes the form of one of those. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a, I want to say it's like a give world me, change or something, but I can't Give remember. me Hobbiton any day of the week. Give me Gondor. Give me, give me Rohan. There is, and they have Rings added and... in, they have added in halflings with a mod. Um, there's a mod they? that adds them into the moot. Uh, I think Surreal Beliefs did a, uh, did a playthrough with them and they have a, uh, they have a oh. big <laughs> cooking, they have a big cooking pot, which basically launches hot, hot bowls of soup at the enemies. Um, so I don't know, I don't know if we'd ever get them, but I kind of feel like, Warhammer, if if CAC, there's enough interest for it, they they do it, you know. Well, you're right. You know that brain fire I had half an hour ago where I couldn't oh, yeah. remember what I was. What have you remembered? About. What is it? What is it? Uh, ultimate what? Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator oh, Two. Two, yes, yeah. that's what else two. we can talk about today. Uh, that's it. Yes. Yes, we, before we started, Rumbler could not remember for the life of him what he wanted to talk about. I thought it was Super Judicia Three, but it wasn't. It was Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Sartorial yeah. the Everwatcher. That's it. The big bird boy. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that game was responsible for me having a day of advertising revenue years ago that was more than what I was earning doing my day job. What's that? Super that. Seducer. Ultimate, ult no, no, no. Ultimate <laughs> Epic Battle Simulator 2. <laughs> Super like, Seducer. Yeah. yeah, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator was the game that actually, um, for a well, during the first release or whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah. I remember. To, for a few days, I was earning more than I was at my day job, and I was just like, "Wow, this, this is it! Like, yeah. this is it! This is, what, this is what could happen." And then, yeah, and then it uh, did happen. It didn't. Well, not for it a did. while. Yeah, not, but, not for yeah. a while more after that. Yeah, um, and then, he came. then Hearts of Iron came, and, and he's still there it. now. And he's still there now. Yeah, this. Um, yeah. Oh man, I'm, and I know we know, I know we're moving off topic from from Warhammer, but uh, like, it's been a for a while. I was just chasing that high of like um, getting new higher monthly views and you know uh, the channels growing quickly and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. then it's the case of every most channels anyway. Then you reach a, a point that you reach, and then it starts dipping a little bit, mm. and then that's when uh, the panic sets in, and then the anxiety yeah, yeah. and the depression, yeah. and then you're comparing yourself to other doubt, people and your mental health yeah. worse, worse, and then all of a sudden you have another like high and you'll get like another you know three and a half million views in a month and then and then it the crash comes again oh man that's ride horrible. Away, bruh. <laughs> that that, that kind of wave. stuff is um yeah it take it, that's what you've got to see like uh, it's very easy to I see think, a few yeah. videos tank and then you and then you and then the panic sets in and, the, and then... there's a guy called ludwig i don't know if you know him as a streamer ludwig he probably come across he's quite up and coming he's quite a big streamer now and then he said about that, that, you know, how do I, I got 24,000 concurrent viewers on every stream last, last month. How am I going to get that this month? And it's not being the case. I'm at 20,000. And I think sometimes he says, you just have to accept that that's the, the way it is. Oh. You know, you, you can't do it. it you know, you can't get it every time. And sometimes yeah. you just have to go with what it yeah. is. Well, I, I've uh, also changed the. I guess, sorry, can can we talk about this? Can we go on off on a tangent? Yeah, of course we can. We can. Yeah. We all, when don't oh, yeah, we go off on a tangent? Up. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Just who who remembers when the Warcast was a thing that stuck to their points? No, we'll come back. We'll come yeah. back. We'll hammer. Sit on the side. Um, Get on the can side. Can I? Can we? Can we do this? Can we go? Yeah, we can. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Um, yeah, because good. I think like you know, I'm playing a. My main game is still a game that came out five years ago now. So the fact that I've still got any kind of audience watching is is um <laughs> I'm pretty lucky. Obviously my my view account is down from from what it was during during like 2017, 2018 when Hearts of Iron was at peak popularity. But it still has very high concurrent view accounts today, like even more so than it did back then. Mm. Um I think it's just like after you've made several hundred videos on the same game, it kind of gets a bit um, it's higher than a concurrent viewership would be for an older Total War game that's five years old, I think, wouldn't it? it wouldn't yeah, be... there's currently 30,000 people playing Hearts of Iron when we're recording this now. Yeah. Well, think about when when and if Hearts of Iron 5 comes out, that, that, that surge will explode yeah. again, I would imagine. Well, to the moon! Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like, yeah. I just hope I've got to the point now where I can keep it stable at, at least like 2 million views. A month. Mm. As long as you get the... stable, yeah, absolutely. Hopefully, but I thought I thought around two and a half to three and a half million was stable, but I don't I don't think it was. So hopefully, I've reached the. Yeah, yeah. mine, yeah. mine sits around like the one one point eight to two a month. It, when there's two. 
two. Two views. Just two, yeah, just two. Just two, cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for the moment, for the moment, uh, yeah, no. But no, I think two million views is 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 a yeah, good, a solid, a good solid base. But I mean, like, yeah. I I reached a similar point last October. I I it hit me like it's never hit me before. I was really worried that it was never going to come back up again. Like, it went down. I think I had one point almost is. last like October. I did. I I went on holiday, so I knew it was going to be lower. But that doesn't help your your mental attitude to it. You know, you're sort of like, oh yeah, October's going to be lower because I'm going away on holiday. I'm taking a week off. Um, mm. Uh, yeah, I've got some videos going out, but it's it's not the main series that I've had to pause while I go away on holiday. Um, and I knew it would be lower, and I think I went down to, I went down to one point three million views, which is the lowest mm -hmm. it's been, probably since, probably since like Rome Rome two came out in twenty thirteen, because um, typically yeah, it's about one point eight to two million views a month when there's not a new release, and then when obviously when there's a new release, up it goes by like another million or something like that. And I'd been riding the high of Troy in August, Crusader Kings in September, and then as all the interest slowly peels away, even though you're starting new stuff, and then having that week off, I was just like, Ugh. and yeah, I had to just tell, I had to step back from it. And I think I took another week off the first week of November. And I was just like, it's, I, I looked back through my analytics and I was like, it's dipped lower before for other reasons where I wasn't uploading regularly for like a whole month. Um, and I then surged back on up because not only did I bring back my series that I'd paused, but I also covered new games and it will come back up again. Like the kind of getting to the level where we are now, the audience will pick back up again or you will be able to reach out to new viewers and it will spike back up. And it was just mm -hmm. getting myself back to a point where I could not panic about it dropping lower for for that period and and sure enough end of november start of december and onwards it's been back up to to what i was expecting and we're fine again mm. my issues come from the fact that you know uh hearts of iron is is one game and that's all a lot of my viewers want to watch still um but i've also lost a lot of viewers that i would have formerly had probably just because of boredom like you know bored of the same kind of videos but i'm but youtube doesn't allow me to branch out uh, like mm. if I if I release stuff that's completely different to what I've tried before, then then there's no way it will be a success. That's the problem that I have with YouTube is that it, it only shows my content to uh, to what it know will succeed. It won't it won't give other stuff a chance. Is it because it's, it's locked to it, it's kind of the algorithms locked to your hoi content a bit more? You think than yeah. other content? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I started the second channel, but then that kind of went off a cliff. Not the atomic nerd. Yeah, I'm going to try and bring that back this year, yeah. I think. It's just like, I also haven't been working as much. Um, <laughs> and when I do, yeah. well, uh, even before that, like, I just wasn't really working as much because I just didn't want to. I didn't really, I haven't been, I haven't been getting any joy from my work. And that's very important, I think, for right, okay. content 100%. creators. If you're not enjoying. Oh, yeah, it well, comes across. Especially yeah. if you're not, if you're having a hard time mentally, it's very difficult to mm. be happy mm. in videos when you're. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Do you find that you've been enjoying your Twitch more? Well, yes and no. Uh, it's very nice. I, I I like I like being able to just click go live and then just go. create content for a few yeah. hours and then and then just um, log yeah. off and then completely switch off for the rest of the day. Mm. Um, but I find it's very tiring being live uh, for for, yeah. months, like, for you know I like to, uh, Lionheart. You stream for like. Uh, I don't know what eight hours a day sometimes, yeah, and I can't really do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's and knackering. I also have had I've had also a lot of problems with um, morons. Oh slash, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Slash, yeah racist, about that. slash yeah. edgy children. We, we love um, your community. We love your community. It's, it's not. Yeah. It's, the thing is, it's just a it's just a tiny tiny cum yeah sect of people that have come in and tried to ruin it for everyone else like yeah yeah um like i had i had uh i had like hitler apologists come into my chat saying um despite the genocide he was still the best leader germany's ever had it's like <sighs> he's a fucking monster fuck off how dare Christ. you even like mm. like do, do you realize how warped that kind of world view is and then other people were started defending his line of view point of view and it's like no there is no there, there is, is no. You are you are not in the right here. He no. is a he was a terrible terrible person. Who cares if he brought autobahns to Germany? 
that doesn't excuse in any way the atrocities that they committed and then but people were still defense so i just i just instantly ban people like it's, yeah. you can't you can't have discussions with no. nazis the, the bad thing is i'm actually a moderator i'm a moderator on rambler's channel i need to be doing a better job i need to be going on to his live streams and getting the ban hammer sorted out to tell you because um, uh, and unfortunately give you, give you a break unfortunately i think it's because i've played hearts of iron so much maybe maybe people have this warped view that i am sympathetic to nazis and and mass murderers and stuff where I'm... Uh, yeah, so you're going to say they think you're Hitler or something. Oh, God, yeah. what the hell? Uh, so I try and... Um, I've, I've I've been slowly changing the start of content that I release to less kind of meme stuff and more just um, kind of goofy fun. Even though I'm still covering the same games, I'm doing it in a different light to what I was doing like four years ago where I might have like done a video playing as Donald Trump as the USA. Now I wouldn't even kind of think of doing that. <laughs> um and i steer clear of like mods that oh, have that God. kind of stuff in just because it doesn't bring me joy to be disrespectful no. to other people um can imagine you as donald trump aren't we? well no like donald trump was in the game i think i oh. i've I I forgotten who i played as i don't know it was, it was the modern day mod for hearts oh, of Iron. i thought you put the wig um, on and it's like you know oh god no 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 yeah. no no, no. <laughs> no. um so I'd, I'd rather uh just create content that's fun but doesn't there's no risk of me alienating any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, viewer. Just because it's, yeah. I don't know, like it's it's disgusting when people come in and have that kind of attitude in my in yeah. my chat. I hate yeah, it. It's the, yeah, they don't deserve anything but being banned straight away. They just scum. Yep. Hopefully, I won't have that issue for a while. Well, no, I think both of you tend to have. Um, I've been in your. I, I lurk in uh, your chat, uh, Lionheart, and all of your community are very. Um, they're very, they're very yeah. well behaved. Bless them. They're, yeah. they're a good, they're a good bunch. And I mean, that's, that's part of the reason why I enjoy streaming so much is that it's a community. It's a, it's a, community. a pleasure to actually be a part of that and to, to stream out content to such, um, just, just decent people. You know, that's that's yeah. the that's the opinion that I get of everyone that comes into into my into my chat and and sure. part of the community. It's just that they're all actually just wholesome people that are there enjoying pretty much the same things I'm enjoying. And that's, that's yeah. all you really want, right? You know, it's, it's, um, it's starting to get that way for me. Now I, um, I just come down on a ton of bricks and just like, I have yeah. to instantly ban people. Even, I don't think I've forgotten, I've done a single stream for years where I haven't banned at least one person. I yeah. don't know if that's common for you. Do you have to ban people? I, uh, regularly? I, I, I'm someone out. Most, most of the time, like I definitely like each week I'll have to like ban someone probably. Uh, oh, most yeah. recently it's been um, people, uh, I guess, uh, just kind of they they'll come in and they'll post like a tipped six hundred dollars as like a a fake alert thing, oh, trying to get me to yeah. thank them and sort of shut them out. And I just go, no, goodbye, and just get rid of them that way. And but very rarely I'll get someone come in and just say something that's just completely unacceptable and I will just 100% put them on blast and be like, you are a terrible person or whatever, goodbye, you're banned. Um, like there's no, there's, yeah, the, I don't I don't think you should even have to worry about be giving those sorts of people any kind of room to, oh, you know, a timeout no. or anything. No, you just, you just hit them right over yeah. the head with the biggest hammer possible and they're gone. Like, I mean, I would say to you guys, you know, uh, Feel free to share your 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 banned users list because I don't want them in my community if they're posting <laughs> that in yours. Because you, yeah. I mean, see, those people are scum. You, you, you're you're terrible like, people, and it is such a detriment to our mental health. And we're trying to be entertaining, enjoy ourselves, and have fun. Like it's just it's just no, just 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 piss this off. Is it. This <laughs> like, is it. But 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 you know what I, I I in a way I'm kind of fed up with that being the excuse. So I kind of go, you know what I'm if I have to take it on myself to just win over a one percent part of my of the internet space and go, it's not mm. acceptable here ever. I will I will hammer yeah, it yeah. home until the day I stop creating content um, because it, it's just not acceptable. Like grow up, uh, seek some help because you clearly need it, um, and the, the, and don't the, waste anyone's time. Probably like young teenage kids who want to, you know, get in the testosterone him and want to show yeah, off. I never did. I never did that as a kid. I don't no, know I any of my friends that, that did that. So like, it's just 
But we're like, not the we're not the majority, are we? And I'm not justifying it, but I know what rawr, people are rawr, rawr, rawr. youngins and the keyboard warriors. <laughs> they won't say it. To, they won't say it to your face, but yeah. they'll say it on the keyboard. Uh, I mean, it's for me. It's it's actually good and refreshing how people come together. I mean, there's a guy called Silver, and he's one of my moderators, and he's built my whole Discord for me recently. And these sort of people, you know, like him, didn't need to do that for me. He's gone out of his way to do it and sort it all out and research it all for me. It's tremendous, you know, it's absolutely tremendous. Well, a lot so of them just kind of want to give back for the hours and hours yeah. of content that they've enjoyed for free over the years. And it's, and I say for free, but I, I don't want to put an emphasis on, you know, on it being freely accessible. It's just that they've enjoyed that so much, what you've provided. They're just like, you know what, rather than you've got, you've got content and streams you want to do. I know how to set up a discord. Let me, let me do that for you. Here you go. Um, I, you know, I've gotten, gotten very lucky in the same with my, I, I basically have zero, um, kind of day-to-day -day running of my discord i leave that completely to like my my admin and mod team um mm, and they just they that, just yeah. take yeah. they just take care of it which is a huge oh. amount of stress removed from me having to worry about that because i can literally go hey guys can we run a giveaway and they're like boom 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 it's done and i'm just I've, like it's, that's amazing I've just, I've just got my band user list up and some of these usernames are really um making really me bad. angry I can't yeah, even I've, say them out loud. They're that horrible. I've had that know, as uh, well, where I've seen a, a username and I've just gone ban that straight away because if they're if yeah. they're willing to put that as their name online, they're not willing to have a discussion. Yeah. They're willing they're not... to do anything. Yeah, I mean, we've had yeah, one or two people come of, on the Discord server lots of with anti-Semitic uh, yeah. uh, usernames. I've just noticed that I've banned over the years. We we give people on Discord one chance to change their name, and if they we had one person that changed it to something even worse, and we were just like, "You are banned. Goodbye." We Think about this, Hearts of Iron 4 lets you play as Hitler, doesn't it? So I bet these yep. people love it. They love the fact that you can play as Hitler and we, Oh, they we probably jerk it. off to it at home. Yeah. That's all they have in their life to role play as Hitler. And yeah. Just, uh... They're probably wearing the Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uniform. Yeah. And it just makes me sick that people think that my stream might be a safe space for oh. them because it's not. I know we're going to be a bit controversial, but there's a lot of Nazi supremacists um, out there who are sympathizers. Um, and it's it's worrying, actually. And, worrying. But honestly, the sad thing is a lot of these people are probably just um, young kids that think it's yeah, funny. Yeah, and yeah. Act like yeah. This. And, it's, and it's really not. It's really yeah, it's not. It's, it's, it's not. It's not funny. It's not comedy. It's not a joke. It's actually, if you, if you, um, if you, if you, if you truly believe that, it's a serious problem. Um, it, 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 I tell you what is worrying is the fact that the younger generations are actually potentially forgetting what actually happened. And that's what worries me. That as time goes on, more and more generations will forget what happened, and it does a full circle one day. You never know, and that's a, that's a worrying thing. We should always learn from history. If people forget, then you're uh, destined to repeat it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Warhammer yeah. 3! Welcome, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Sorry, sorry for the <laughs> no. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I, I, I've been really enjoying streaming, um, apart from just the shit that, that I've had to yeah. uh, deal with. It's just... Uh, like, I know people Why? say, well, it's the internet, so it's to be expected. But you know yeah. what? No. No. Yeah. no one... We don't, we don't have any professional um, training on how to deal with anti-semites or, or sort of you shouldn't Nazis need to or, though should you you know you shouldn't people it's attacking just... my my appearance all day every day like it's just so yeah, draining i, I mean i, I, it, it, I, insults I, I see, I I see the tweets that you put out about that and it you know i it kind of hurts me in a way because i know how much you enjoy and you just want to get out there and have some fun and enjoy your your, your streams and i'm just like you know, you, you, if any of you are bastards hit, stop doing this to Alex because you, you lot won't do it. Are, not in here. Are These guys absolute are. shitheads. These like, are are hardcore here. But because, no, I, <sighs> I I I find I find it um, bizarre that anyone would want to comment on anyone's appearance. I find it the most bizarre thing ever. The worst you know, thing I ever did for myself I, was um, people started to make jokes about my losing my hair uh on youtube so i thought you know what i can embrace the joke um i'll feature a comment in Ramblin's comment corner but then it turned into such a joke that it got away from me yeah. and now i've had like tens kind of thousands of people just like making fun of too far me losing it. my hair yeah so the worst thing i ever did was draw attention to it like the yeah. uh, like it's it's it's... I know you're trying to go with it. You're trying to go with it in a direction where you. Well, you were trying to, to get. Like, you were trying ah, to. Yeah, it's funny. You were trying to get on top of it, it so you could control it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, yeah. It, it obviously 
it's the internet that isn't that didn't happen instead instead people still think it's funny just to come into my twitch chat and be like ha 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 you're bald it's like, I, th I think we should man. both take the plunge at the same time rambler and both have you've a got head much shape. more hair than i do man it's, it's going in the you, back you've only, you've only you've only got the little circle at the back and that's been the case yeah. for years and <laughs> like whereas whereas my circle's just been slowly growing and is now like out of control <laughs> join, um, join the egg the club. Is, the like, the Warcast will be rebranded as the eggs. I don't think I'll look good very bald, like completely bald. Like I, I, facial hair to I already, I already have an egg head. I don't need any. I don't know. Like if I go completely bald, can you get I don't think it's going to be a very good look. No, I going? can't. I can't. It's not substantial enough. Oh, I no. can't grow facial hair like either of you. I'm jealous of your ability to grow beards. It's only, it's only in the last few years I've been able to do that because I used to have a, I used to have a gap there. I look mm. ridiculous, like my big mutton chops. So, like, yeah. I'm tempted to do something about it. Like, maybe I'll get a hair transplant in the future if I really want to spend 20 grand on it, or I can just get like. That's what you need to have is your hype train. But the is thing is, if you, if you if you have if you decide to get a hair transplant, you, they they re very much recommend that you take something called Propecia, which is um, a drug which blocks the testosterone that causes male pound baldness. Oh, but it can cause permanent. Erectile dysfunction and infertility. No, no. It can cause I'll, depression. I'll shave the head. Um, yeah. No. It can cause want, an increased want. risk of breast cancer, which was what my granddad died of. So I'm very hesitant to take a yeah. drug that will already affect my mental we, health. And we want massive hard-ons, thank you. We don't want anything like that. Come yeah. on. Well, yeah. most of the time, most <laughs> of the time, if you get erectile dysfunction and low sex drive from it, if you stop taking it, it will come back. But there are occasions where it's been permanent and they haven't been yeah. able to get an erection. Risk and reward I, because I it, me it messes with the testosterone levels in your body. Yeah, yeah. Um, no. So we want the good times. We want. I mean, there I are also <laughs> semi-permanent head like hair pieces that you can get, which stay on yeah. for like. There are some really good ones. Out there. I saw oh, yeah. I saw some videos where like yes. they do they do the re like the reveal almost, yeah. and you're like looking at this dude, yep. and he's got this insane awesome and cut, and then he just younger. takes it off, yeah. and you're no, like, no, no. whoa! I, I like, honestly would have, if I had if I had you know the money. I would do that every eight weeks. Have a, have a hair piece t done for it because yeah. it looks superb. I mean, people may yeah. mock, but Thank the God. thing is, it comes Probably. down to if you feel um, happier, more confident with a hair piece, with a hair transplant, with no hair, with some hair. However, you feel confident. Well, exactly. Yeah. That's how you should, like. I, I, <laughs> I had people for ages going like, "Oh, you should just shave it all off because it was all thin and wispy." And I was like, "What? I, what I really wanted was I wanted to have some hair in my wedding photos." Yep. Um, and yeah, as things right. as things worked out, we had our wedding brought forward, and we had it much earlier than originally planned. And um, then last April, when we were going to be married um, and have the big ceremony, we couldn't because obviously COVID. And it was around yeah, around about April time. I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna. I, I said to my, my wife, I was like, can you just help me shave it all off? Because if I if I hate it and I don't feel happy about it, I'll just let it. I know what it's going to come back to. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's not okay. Maybe maybe it won't come back. You know, completely, completely, but it'll it'll be basically ninety nine percent back to what it is right now, and I and I know I'm happy with it. It's just you know one or two trolls on the internet that seem to have a problem with it, and to be honest, I'm getting past weird. the point of caring, so that's their problem. That's not mine. It's um, weird again. Why and ever, for my own, I do it for my own self confidence. Yeah. It's not it's not to it's not to stop these jokes. If I want to get like yeah. that hair piece, it's, I think it's because I think I'll look good. It's just yeah. the same reason why women put on makeup or. Or people mm, have well, plastic surgery since... or stuff. It's just for themselves. It's not. It's not for anyone else apart from me. So it's... yeah, and that's the most important thing. If it makes you happy and feel more confident, better, then you should do it. Whatever it is, you know, no matter what people say, if they go, "Oh, hair transplants are silly," you're like, "Cool to you, they're silly, but to me, it makes me feel amazing." And I, I've never mm. been that confident about my appearance, but the moment I shaved this off, and like a couple of days afterwards, it's a, a, the realization sort of set in. I was looking at myself and checking myself out properly in the mirror, and actually going like, "Damn, this is." You know, I was thinking like, I look, I look pretty darn sexy, you know. And I was like, this is yeah. the most confident I've honestly felt well, about my appearance. Mm -hmm. Not naked. No, I had. <laughs> I look oh. even sexier when I'm naked, mate. Uh, <laughs> I have I know, references, aka the wife. Uh, no, um, yeah, oh, but I, yeah. I was genuinely looking at myself. And I was going like, you know, this is the most confident I felt about how I look since basically like my, since like maybe 2010. I had to like uni uni photos yeah. nights out, and I had a full head of hair, and I felt like I looked awesome. And now I look in the mirror where once I've freshly shaved my head with my big old beard and I'm like, yeah, I look fucking awesome. And and that's if you get that feeling 
by doing anything, whether it's by leaving a hair as it is, shaving it all off, having a transplant, having a, a wig or a toupee or, or whatever, you you should like do it. Like, because it's the, honestly, it's the best thing I've ever done. I feel so much more confident and happier about my appearance now. I've I've not felt like this for like 11 years. And I'm like, all it took for me was to, to shave off my wispy oh, hair on top. And I feel, I feel yeah. amazing about it. Going the gym was a big thing for me. Um, and and that's a, that was a big boost for, for my self-confidence as well. So it's funny, everyone to try and find their own little way of giving themselves that boost. And, yeah. you know, it can be many forms, many forms. Yeah, what um, works for one isn't going to work for somebody else. But like, yeah, but, but yeah, and... you, you like what, I mean, I, I, like, yeah, I was looking at, you know, hair transplant options or these these more permanent sort of toupees that you'd get every few months. And I forgot what they're called. Is it like a hair replacement? Is <sighs> it like hair replacement system? Yeah, I keep seeing them. They look they look awesome. Like some I mean, okay, there are there are some out there that look terrible. Okay. There are oh, some that look terrible. terrible. But there are some there are some really good ones now that look that you wouldn't even notice. Like you could run your hand through and you wouldn't even notice. You you can't see the, the the mesh on there. When it comes off, you think, "Oh God, is it coming off? You know, is it is it peeling back?" But no, I think it, 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 the kind of glue that it uses, you can still go swimming, and it'll really? be fine. Oh, well, yeah. I don't it's like that. It's like that woman who put gorilla glue on her head this week. Sorry, what's this that? One, what's she that put, fake? Do I don't, I don't think that, so. That looks solid. That hair, it, spray yeah. But hair. basically, she when she did her hair, she would use this kind of glue hairspray to kind of just hold it in place. Uh, and she'd run out of it one day. So when she did it, all she had was Gorilla Glue, which she then, or it was a Gorilla Glue spray, which she did. And she's been on like TikTok now going like, it won't, it's it's after a month, it's still solid. And after like 15 washes, it's still solid. And Gorilla Glue have even responded on the TikTok going, uh, you want to try some rubbing alcohol um, and then like with a comb, try and slowly piece it out. But if it's been on there for a month already, there's probably significant hair damage. <laughs> So, I mean, I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny, but you did put Gorilla Glue on your head. Um, That's... Eesh. Like, yikes. She's probably going to have to shave her head, I would have thought, to... Yeah. Because, especially at the moment with things not being open, right? It's not like you can be like, I need an emergency appointment. But, I mean, what what can they do at that point? They're probably going to be like, you've got super, super, super strong glue in your hair. The only way to fix it is to, to buzz this out. And it's all over her head because it's lathered all across. It's. I've it's... not seen that one. I've seen about. I've seen. I've seen, I've seen the, the parish council Zoom meeting, but I haven't seen that one. <laughs> while you have a little. While you've got a little visitor, I'm going to go and use the washroom so we can have a little. Oh, so yeah. Mid uh, mid podcast break. Hello. Here's another tangent. So, like, I'm 31. Uh, Lionheart, you're 30. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Warrior Five, seven. you're like thirty. Oh, seven. I, you're like 30, I thought you were thirty-five. No, times. Okay. Times. Well, let's on. say you're thirty-five. Um, okay. <laughs> are you, I'll, I'll go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Are you where? You'd, are you guys where you'd be? Thought you'd where? You'd, where thought that you are where you'd be at this point in your life. Wait. That's a very good question, that is, dude. Very good question. Um, yeah. I find it dis- I find it disappointing that I had to, I had to have that setback with YouTube because I thought when I was in my early thirties and I, and we'll get to the peak. Where I was with YouTube, I thought, "Wow, this is I'm actually making real progress and and you know getting hold of something and making a real go of it." So the the setback has been a, a disappointment, and I think it's because it's something I couldn't really avoid. It wasn't something I just decided, "Nope, can't be doing it today," and I, I made the choice not to do it. It was something I couldn't do for a while, so uh, that's a shame. Um, so if it wasn't for that, I think I would be pretty happy with where I am, but. Right. I mean, I've got a, I've got a family. I've got a kids. I've got great kids. I've got you know, great wife. Um, nice house. So I'm happy with that regard. So a lot of it, I can be very grateful for. Very grateful. Yeah. I mean, I think I, I, I kind of never really knew what I, what I, what I was aiming for, kind of when I started all this. I didn't know if it was going to just be a hobby or just something I'd do for a little bit and then move on to something else and kind of, I guess, going through uni and studying was just kind of almost just to keep myself occupied rather than I guess probably facing the reality that I didn't really know what I wanted to do then uh, and then kind of just sort of fell on my feet with being able to do this for the last uh, eight years um full time sometimes and... that happens, it? you yeah. come time 
happens it falls on your feet you don't realize and i mean i think you know with with what you do when it, when there's kind of numbers and metrics involved you always kind of you know in hindsight think oh maybe i could have done that better and been a bit further mm -hmm. ahead but uh i've got i've got my own house you know i'm able to pay pay the mortgage i'm able to save plenty of money i'm able to provide for uh for my family um mm. we've got you know I've, I've gotten married um we've got our first child on the way uh, <laughs> uh there's 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 nothing i want for except for obviously wishing that my dad could still be here to mm. kind of see it all mm. but yeah. you know um other than that i'm 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 really thankful that i i'm able to do what i do and I'm able to live a, a fairly comfortable lifestyle, you know. I mean, I, I don't have the you know yachts and Lamborghinis of you know some YouTubers, and I don't I don't think I ever will. But I'll you know I'll be able to put plenty of money aside for for my kids and and live a comfortable lifestyle for hopefully the rest of my life. Um, and if I'm able to keep doing this for another eleven years, brilliant. Um, kind of past that what do i do if not i'll uh i'll deal with that when that gets a little bit closer bridge. yeah exactly i don't you? i don't want to speculate on that <laughs> what about you alex i don't know um one of the things the big things that i wanted to have by the time i was 30 was to own uh or at least like you know have a mortgage or or own property which hasn't happened um but then i've been living between two countries for the past mm. Six Love years? That. Six years, yeah, I yeah. say it's quite so, a while. I've been living out of a suitcase for the past six years, so um, no, I'm not really where I thought I'd be. I'm in a very different... I don't know, I, I don't know, like 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 you, Lana, I, I, don't, I never really know what I wanted to do. I think as a person, I've, I'm definitely getting to, towards being the person that, that I would like to be. What? Oh, oh hello. <laughs> He's going to yeah. show us. <laughs> no, he's... he's... He wants to get Hi. that. Yeah, there you go, Don. Oh, oh, do, you to, do, you to, do you have to buy him a, an app? Yeah, no, he's just a free one, a free oh, slip one. one. Yeah. Um, so I think, like, even a few years ago, I wasn't really the best of... I was just saying I wasn't the best person ever. Uh, I, I, I certainly think that I've grown a lot, and I've um, been having a lot of trouble with my mental health, which I think... Uh, I've been self-aware enough to to get some help for. I'm still very hesitant about taking medication. I hate taking medication for anything. So that's been a big a bit of a bugbear trying to just sort out my mental health without the assistance of any, um, I guess like anti-anxiety stuff. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I did take some for a while, but what they just what they prescribed what the GP in the UK prescribed me was um, beta blockers. So my my mm. resting heart rate went down to like forty. Um, taking them so i just i was i couldn't do anything i was tired i looked ill and haggard and stuff so i came off it um because when your heart rate is like 45 and you have no energy to do anything it's they prescribe me the wrong thing so now i'm even yeah, more yeah. hesitant to take any kind of medication but um like i don't know i don't really know what i want from life um I have, even... I have a fantastic partner uh and we have a love we have a nice home but it's rented uh i can't afford to really buy anywhere in in this area um the closest Yet. place for us is on sale for like 1.25 million uh dollars so the the monthly mortgage payment after a 20 percent deposit would be 4800 dollars a month for 25 years it's a big investment <laughs> and, that, and, that, and that's for a two-bedroom house christ that's pricey um <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, oh. I, you know, I, I, I do need to start thinking more about late if I make it to retirement age, um, like thinking about setting up pensions and, and stuff like that. Yeah, because mm. at the moment I don't have anything. Yeah. Uh, you, you're in a position where you're doing a job that's your hobby full time as a job, and that's a great position to be in. That's a very, yeah, very wonderful position to be in. No, I, I'm very lucky to be able to do yeah. this full time. So you and think about to have done it full time for. This will be the fourth year I've been doing it full time. Um, yeah. So yeah. in some ways, I think I'm where I want to be. I'm certainly not the 
person I was years ago, which I'm glad of. I think I'm a better person than I was several years ago. Uh, I've managed to ha develop some like wonderful friends. I've got some fat, you know, good uh, relations with my family. So you know, overall, I'm very lucky to be in the position I am. It's just uh, I'm I'm searching for that contentment, which just seems. Mm, we, all, we all are. I think we are. A lot of people do that for the rest of their life. I think people will never get the yeah. content sometimes. It's, it's difficult to... Generation just, I have a lot of trouble relaxing. Um, so that's that's one thing I need to focus on more, like taking time to relax and uh, chill out. I don't know. I've, got, I've kind of gone off on a tangent again. I think yes and no. Like, uh, I, think, I think you're I on the right path. Yeah. 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 You, you, you at least, want, you at least know what you want. Journey. Yeah, you, well, you know, I, you know what you want to get towards. I just feel I want to get to a point where I've achieved something. You know, you want to look back when you're sixty-five or seventy or whatever, you know, whatever, and think this is what I did, and I did do something worthwhile. That's the thing I think fulfillment is is what I want to get to at the point at this point. So, yeah, sometimes it's. You look for some way, you look for some certain method of doing that, and it comes to you in a different way, you know, in, in, a, in a way you didn't expect. So, yeah, you don't, you don't always find the corner. Like, I've, I, um, a lot, I know a lot of people are very happy and content with, with you know, um, uh, living in the same kind of like five miles of where they were born. They like stay there, they work in the same town, and then they, and then they, and then they die, and then, and then they're very content with. Yeah, people are. People are. But I've yeah. never, I've, I've never really been. Yeah. I don't know. I've always wanted to keep moving. I yes. don't know if that's because I'm running away from something. Maybe I'm running away from myself. We're, we're, we're millennials. <laughs> we, 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 we want the. <laughs> we're millennials. We want to. We want to get the best, don't we? We want to content. No, um, but I think. I don't. I don't desire lots of physical items. I just want no. to be feel content. Yeah, I think you want. I want fulfillment. I want to. As I say, you want to have achieved something. I think that's the thing, isn't it? Um, yeah. But you never know what's around the corner. You never know. True. You um, never know. So never give up, I say. Never give up. And You never know. Let's. What's the other games we're going to talk about? Yeah. So <laughs> we, were, we we went with Warhammer 3. Yeah, and then yeah. we went literally over there. Oh, um, shot left. Yeah. Yeah. yeah took a shot left. Yeah. Um, okay, actually... Before we completely leave Warhammer, when do you think it's coming out this year? They yeah, said, they um, said 2021. Oh, there's late two points. 2021, isn't it? Two points. I think on Steam it says, yeah, late 2021. Like Steam or uh, September, October time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I took a screenshot of something actually. That, my uh, my I, bet, I, if I had to choose a specific day, I've just gone, because they tend to release on a Thursday, I've gone for the 16th of September. Yeah. That's, um, that's where I've gone for. They, they confirmed that the... Each god of chaos will have their own faction, which we already discussed. And yeah, it has been circulating around that September will be the launch, which co right. coincides a lot with Ro Rome 2, I think was September. Uh, and that kind of, you know, that go. What you say? Sorry. I'll pick, I'll pick the 23rd of September. 23rd of September. Cool. I'll pick the 9th of November. <laughs> oh, there we go. No, I, 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 He's, gone He's gone for the delay. He's gone for the delay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're so count. sorry, everyone. Uh, which is obviously, I would rather have a game delayed than yeah. than releasing it. Yeah, don't do a cyberpunk. I, uh, I would rather make sure that developers have the time they need to make the game that they want and not have to crunch. Here's a yeah. point, and I was thinking about this when I was making the bed earlier today. So what I do, I keep my mind goes in. When I make the beds in the morning, my mind starts to think about YouTube and stuff like that. It's how thirty-seven year olds live. Um, <laughs> but. Um, for any game now, because we used to talk about this, didn't we? We've mentioned this in the past about pre-orders. It's risky, you know, with Warhammer 1, the Chaos DLC controversy, you know, or you're, you're trying to push people into getting a, a, a DLC for uh, for free by pre-ordering. It's risky. I think, to be honest with you, if you're going to pre-order Warhammer 3, the risk element is very low now for that kind of game because you know what you're going to get with Warhammer 3. Yeah. You're getting it, an improved it, Warhammer 2 yeah. with more There's factions no way. and races. Yeah, there's no. If you're going to pre-order this game, you will have obviously got yeah. the two other games. You will like the other two games. Yeah. I think there's a very low risk in this one. Yeah, if of, you didn't enjoy any... Warhammer One and Warhammer Two, yeah. don't bother because you're yeah. probably not going to like Warhammer Three. I mean, 
there is speculated that they're going to do a fairly substantial siege overhaul for game three as well I um, so, yeah yeah but you know so if, if you were only staying Please. away from warhammer because of the sieges then maybe it's time to revisit once they start showing that off uh, but yeah with the with the early adopter bonus as well that you fact you can get that still within the whole release week you can wait until it's out till the reviews are out till we're streaming it and and uploading videos as long as it's within that first week you can still get it and get that early adopter bonus for free and not miss out on it so if you are on the fence and hesitant just just wait till to release basically because mm. you you won't you won't miss out and i think you know as i said they def they definitely learned from warriors of chaos uh with the with the norska early adopter bonus they did for warhammer 2 and with whatever they do for 3 with it being the same thing it's yeah there's they, there's very little pressure basically to make you pre-order and they have they have stressed you know feel free to wait until there's reviews until there's coverage by your favorite content creators and what have you so i think as well with it being a trilogy as so you said you know they kind of they probably have fairly decent expectations of roughly what the sales are going to be like based off the previous ones and how there's been growth so they probably already know fairly well what they're what they're aiming for and that there shouldn't be too many things that are really going to upset that if they basically you know deliver an improved warhammer 2 experience with yeah, a different map yeah. a different narrative campaign and, and new factions and units and, and mechanics i started a warhammer 2 campaign on on my twitch oh, oh I, yeah you're and, playing us and, and uh i'm the dwarf dwarves the dwarvy dwar uh, the uh white 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 white, white dwarf man Grom Brindle. Like dwarf. Yes, I'm playing as Grom Brindle, yeah. That's what was chosen by my audience. Nice. Um, That's good. And the sieges, I just don't like them. Um, I yeah. thought I was out of range of towers, so I could just demolish those towers. Uh, but they, they they can just hit you anywhere. Oh, on the yeah. Map. They're super towers. They're, yeah, they are. What? They, they have Why? changed them a teeny tiny bit, little bit from when they came out in the first game, is that on the first game, they were map-wide range. In game two, I think yeah. there is... A little bit right at the back of the map, you can you can avoid them and not get hit by them. Um, I have never been a fan of the sieges, um, so I'm really looking forward to whatever okay. Warhammer 3 does to them. But I've kind of just gotten used to them. I've accepted yeah. that they are an inevitable part of the game that I dislike greatly, it, but I've got to go it through them. To, it was to speed would... up the sieges, wasn't it? To enhance the siege attacks and yeah. make them a quicker would... experience. I would love a four-player multiplayer campaign. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they because missed a massive the, trick with Three Kingdoms not doing a three-player one. Like, surely the numbers yeah. are all linking up. Surely yeah. that was the one to do. It would be. I mean, it would be weird to suddenly go from two to three. It would make more sense to go from two to four. But if they were ever going to do an expansion for that, you know, into more players in multiplayer campaign, it would have been Three Kingdoms, surely. <laughs> if, if the coding is in for two people... I'm you not just, a coder, so I could be wrong. But copy paste. Just, That's it. <laughs> they can just turn it into four people. <laughs> but then, it, edit, edit notepad. And you can still do the majority of your stuff um, simultaneously. Uh, yeah, you could do building and spending money. But you could agree to only fight specific kind of battles with people. Because like four player multiplayer is, is you're, you're going to be with friends like it's, it's yeah. you wouldn't play with random and it's going to be slow right you're not going to be going oh why is this four player campaign so slow eh, i expected it to be fast you, you, you know you're up against four other humans that have all got to take their turns all got to move their armies and upgrade stuff right um yeah. the option would yeah. be nice the option would be nice for them to have that in there two is the standard yeah. sure but have an expanded campaign especially you, you know, know what with, you get yourself into with the combined the grand map or whatever it's going to be called for warhammer 3 such a huge map would it not be a good idea to allow more players and allow simultaneous turns and then battles played in a turn order so that you could actually do a bit more to fill up that massive map mm. yeah absolutely i think if you are going to be playing four player you you are going to be aware of what you're getting yourself into it's going to be slower because there's four players involved who's, so you're making that choice anyway so who's going to be our fourth player because there's three of us we need one more tell, tell us why in the comment section why you'd be a good fourth oh. player no, sorry, <laughs> not playing with a randomer. <laughs> Never. Nope. I hosted Hearts of Iron multiplayer games for two years. That's scarred me permanently from playing with any what, random really? people on the was internet. It, was it really bad? It was fucking horrible. <laughs> really? Uh, so, because say you oh have God. thirty people joining a game, 
yeah. all in various Discord voice chats. Then uh, people with varying internet connections will either lag is, the game. It is terrible people in grand strategies. Um, yeah. Salty and ragey. Uh, I'd have to try and enforce rules and get annoyed with people. I had someone in my voice chat saying the N word. And when I was like, what the hell? He's like, well, that's just a word I say. He's white and Swedish. So he, <laughs> he obviously like permanently oh, banned. Um, yeah. You know, that kind of stuff that I had to deal with for two years. It's just, oh, no. I hate it. Tell, tell no. us your favorite I hate, I content hate creator that playing. should be our fourth. Oh, <laughs> who would be who would be your who would be your dream your dream team extra um, person? For me, I think we, I, I I've got a lot of a lot a lot of time for him. Is Republic of Play? I think he does excellent videos. I've been, actually I haven't seen him recently since he's left CA. Nothing to do with the fact he's left CA, but the fact of now he's concentrating fully on his at his videos. I think he's. Extremely good standard quality of video, so he would be mine. My I wouldn't four. mind um, pixelated Apollo or Jackie Fish. Oh, yeah. I don't like those Warhammer. Are, those, are, those are nice, chill people. To... Oh, the, oh, right, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Mm. But if, but if we could, but if you could, te if you could use your Slaneshi powers on them. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> um, I remember once. <laughs> I remember once when we did a, when we did a legend podcast, um, on his video because he uploaded it to his channel. And one of them said that, that he was too masculine for all of us. Um, so he'd be too masculine for the fourth player if he, he if he was involved. There, there wouldn't there wouldn't be what? any any room with all, with all the down. with all then the we'll cheese. There wouldn't be any room down. for us with all the cheese. Yeah, yeah no. Um, yeah. yeah, you know. So fuck uh... you, legend. <laughs> no, <laughs> I love legend. Um, but yeah, no. Um, so he's too he's... masculine for us to yeah so... yeah you know, honestly i remember the he, he, i remember the video they, did, they did say he was the most handsome looking of us all i think yeah i thought fuck you is that right okay. i mean he, he was uh, he was he was he was looking devilishly handsome while he was throwing those tim tams at us yeah he is. you know we made 10 him out of 10 would have would have him throw a tim tam at me guy. again before him, he before him, he would never show his face on stream and then we did that face reveal for him and it you're welcome into that yeah, you owe us about $50,000, <laughs> legend. Someone's just signed me up to OnlyFans. They've used my email address. <laughs> Sign up to OnlyFans. I just got an email saying I need to verify my OnlyFans account. Are they, have they subbed you well, to anyone? Well, I'll tell you what. No, I'm sorry. I'm just going back to... No wonder he, someone said that in the comments about us. Because I had no beard. I think Rambler had no beard. So maybe we, we actually no. I had a little bit of a beard. Was he just so the, was he just the most the most impressive like, follicle specimen of us then? I think it was. I'm just trying to find the comment actually. But yeah, no, he is a he is a he is a he's a cracking looking chap. He's got that. He's got the he's got the rugged, the rugged look to him. I oh, he, a bit more people will sign me up to other like porn websites. Let's <laughs> 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 just just delete. <laughs> What if it wasn't? What if I didn't do it? What? It gives you no option to say like. Uh, what well, to unverify? <laughs> yeah, this is the problem with you when you when you put your 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 email out. It's for business inquiries. It's for business <laughs> inquiries. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure there are non um, sexy ladies on OnlyFans. Um, maybe. I don't know. They're the only. They're the only accounts you hear of, right? Just um. Like sexy ladies, yeah, yeah they do. They are making every, they are making living stuff. I don't know many. Well, Belle Delphine makes bank. Yeah, I think That's she good. makes like you know a million dollars a month from OnlyFans. That's bonkers amount of money. Should we start one? Actually, I've got an account now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I'll send I'll send you some I'll, OnlyFans? I'll send you some some uh, some shots of some stuff to upload there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah. He looks exactly like he sounds. Well, let's go back to his first video. Hey guys, Legend of Ten of War here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not go there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Did, yeah. I, I'm surprised that he managed to do that. Like change he, he his trained, tone of his voice completely. He, he trains. He changed his voice. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. There we go. There we go. All he, of the it was that just him growing. like growing, like yeah, just he, his he voice changing his over voice. time. Or he actually yeah, he did put, that yeah. consciously. Yeah, he, he consciously did it. He told me about it once he, when we were when we were at an event. Really? He was telling me that he trained his voice to yeah. go lower. Yeah. Damn! Like um, I mean, even even more props and respect to him because that's yeah. bloody difficult to do. 
Um, no, here we go. Yeah, all of the test, oh, all of the testosterone concentrated in the bottom of the screen, which is where <laughs> large, large, <laughs> the big like doors sort of thing. You know, yeah, yeah. Medieval uh, Two Total War Blitz campaign, Battle of Tbilisi. But yeah. One. Totally go on, yeah. go on, go on, play. I knew you can't hear it. Play it to yourself because. Hey guys, Legend is out of war here. <laughs> 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 I'm just laughing now. <laughs> the voice changed it to something he's more comfortable with, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he it... can change his voice, I can give myself fake hair. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Do whatever makes but, you happy. But no, honestly, I remember. I'm just looking at the war cast we did. Legend of Total War face reveal. He's in, he's in the background. Like one oh, about. just wandering around, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like looking in. That was a lot of fun to do. Yeah, that, that was, was a lot fun. of fun to I don't do. Know if they were allowed at the uh, CA, right? The actual headquarters of the studio, yeah. Yeah, back in. Let's back, let's in, back in when COVID is over, please. Yeah. No, I've never. Um, that was the only time I've been there, actually, because I've been in North America. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You've always you've always gone to events that have been done at third like party locations, haven't you? Uh, the, 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 some some have been like Sega offices, British War around. Museum. Mm. Oh, oh, that was, that was a great. That was oh, that was that great was fifteen time. years of Total War, wasn't it? Yeah, that was great yeah. times. Yeah, I love that. But yeah, that was going was it, like, oh, yeah. COVID, I guess. Yeah, yeah. The um they the Three Kingdoms really one was in this really cool um Chinese restaurant in the Shard. Oh yes, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was one. awesome. Yeah. That Great nice. food and cocktails. I was absolutely destroyed on the train going home. <laughs> I, I was like, all, all the, all the, all the cocktails hit me like all at once when I got on the train. I was just like sat and I was like, oh, there we go. Free event uh, cocktails. The, the worst I've ever got was at a Tiller event, which I technically <laughs> wasn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was. You know what? No, though? I wasn't invited, like the two of you. You, you two were like the special guests. Had the hotel paid for and stuff. I could go. Yeah, we heard this one, and, he, and then you. I've spoken about it so many times. Like when Slap I. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, okay. So we gave you. We gave. We gave you the spare. You got the spare ve breakfast voucher, didn't you, for the next day in the hotel? Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Man, I was those events were good. Like that's that's the thing. I'm one of the biggest things I'm looking forward to. Like that. I, I'm hoping that all of this, because a lot of obviously game developers have gone to purely digital preview events and stuff for the past year or so please i know it's probably way cheaper for you guys but please fly us out to fancy locations and do really mm -hmm. cool events where uh, we i mean the main thing is like we don't get to see each other in person really uh, except for those sorts of events and you will yeah. never see me again i won't be with you anymore no well you come you, you, you'll you'll come you'll get you in there get you in yes. there um yeah i enjoyed the uh, the arena event in uh mm. la that oh, was a lot good. of fun yeah that was a lot of fun yeah. Uh, no, actually, the best for me, still for me was the Cologne one. I think mm -hmm. that was good. But there have been some great events. Um, hope to more. Hope to see I have, more. I have yeah. flashbacks of that Cologne event, mainly because of the amount of Jaeger bombs that myself, Bar Baron Von Games, and Jesse Cox did at the bar. I didn't get involved. In <laughs> I was like, yeah, Jaeger we bombs. Elsewhere. Who wants a round of Jaeger bombs? Because we, we, we they're always fair. fun. Who, who wants Who wants some, some you know, Jaeger bombs? That's, you know, a round's harmless, right? Several rounds later, when everyone else keeps buying them, it starts getting dangerous. <laughs> yep. Then we had the event the next day. Yes, we did. I was Oof. a mess the next day. I couldn't sleep. I think I, I did have one Jaeger bomb, and I just couldn't sleep the whole night. I remember the stream hitting about 10,000 one-point views. Yeah, it was it was yeah. a solid oh, event. I wish Arena was a was still a thing. Yeah, I do. I've got my Arena t-shirt on underneath this, actually. Go on, take it off. Uh, well, no, because I've got my jumper on, so you can't really see it. I don't know what I, oh, I've got. I've got the I've got the original old Warhammer old. one on. Oh right, there you go. So you are, I don't have are... anything, so I can't. Um... You've got your sexy money underneath. Did it. I get one? I don't think I got one of those Warhammer T-shirts. No, you got the yeah. arena one. I remember you got the. I got arena the. One. Oh, I I took lots of. Yeah, yeah you, you did. You left. The, you left loads the on the bed. Or Attila ones. Yeah. Oh, the Attila I took ones. Like yeah. 10 <laughs> you left them all at the Premier Inn, didn't you? Like on the bed. <laughs> yes, yeah. Right. yeah, you had them all over the bed. You're like, I left them for the oh, housekeeping. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they had a they had an extra gift that day. They, all the yeah, all the t-shirts over. They probably Jeez. use them as they probably use them as cleaning rags afterwards. Yeah. I think I've used one as a cleaning rag because they don't. <laughs> very well. well, no, oh. I took like I took like five of them home, and you know, 
uh, I wasn't used to the North American um, system of uh, washing and then everything goes in a dryer. You don't hang stuff out. You just put it in a dryer and everything shrinks. So all the oh. t-shirts that I brought with me. Got oh, more. yeah, it makes a big difference, certainly. Yeah. God, um, I'll tell you what, we, we set out with a plan today, didn't we, about Warhammer 3, and we're going to talk about it, and it's just gone on the biggest frigging tangents of our lives, hasn't it? what the people want. <laughs> what the people demand. Let's move on uh, to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. So now what can they give us that um, they haven't already? It's going to have uh, 100 times more characters on screen than its predecessor. Ooh. So instead of, instead of like... Thirty thousand. You're gonna one have million, like man. one million. Yeah. Damn. Epic. Are we gonna see return? I want to see return of that rambler. I want to see. I want to see figures. I want to see bloody thumbnails with it on. I want to see. <laughs> yeah. boom, boom, boom. Maybe, maybe I can bring it back. Epic. I would. Love, I would love another little boost from from a game. Can like you imagine that? that? Because you know the, the 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 views you got from it when you were a lot smaller, and now with you being a lot bigger, can you imagine the views you possibly get from it? Could be incredible. Well, you have to hope that it's going to turn into a trend again. Otherwise, it's not going to... Yeah, uh, the algorithms may not take it off. Yeah. And I don't <laughs> want to marry myself to one game. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember that absolute lag fest of a video you did? I know, what was it? How many views have you got on it now? Like three million or something? Yeah, my most popular video. <laughs> <laughs> it was an absolute lag fest. Was that the a, Thermopylae a, a, map one? Yeah. And it was just there. I, I it don't know how you commented on it. How did you commentate on that? Yeah, they pushing through a little bit now. Yeah, a little um, bit further now. The video was the massive 20,000 Egypt versus Rome survival battle. Oh, your survival battles. Yeah, yeah, I remember them. <laughs> well, they got me loads of views. So it did, yeah. 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 I think it, I'm sure you had to quit, didn't you, to get the battle because it just didn't, didn't, wasn't ending, just, was it? I'm just, sure you was could, it like, sure you quit like one frame a second or something like that. Just you like... quit the battle. I'm sure you quit the battle. <laughs> I'm just checking. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it's he like a half, of, half a frame per second. <laughs> oh, my God. And he, and he quit. He quit. Because it's got yeah, no... I quit. <laughs> yeah. you'll, have, you'll have to... You just go back through all the really laggy ones and do them in Ultimate Epic uh, Battle Simulator 2 and just, just uh, million it up. So we've got more units. Uh, yeah, I have seen the trailer. Um, I'm probably going to do a video on it. But I saw that the yeah. maps are going to look bigger. Um, a lot more. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna need a bigger map, aren't you? <laughs> I just I just realised that Baz Battles commented on that video four years ago. Baz Battles, oh, you've good. made it, His mate. Game, honestly, he he brought he brought the the real interest for me with Game of Thrones. He his his Aegon's oh, his Battle Conquest of Winterfell video. stuff. He's, he's one of Aegon's Conquest was superb. Oh, six point six million views. Yeah, I I, I love that video. I absolutely love his that. His stuff video. is so is cool. amazing, and I yeah. love the person who does his because he's not him. Whoever he gets to do where uh, voiceovers is very good, mm. very good voice. Yeah, I've always wondered who that is that does the voiceover. Um, but yeah, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator Two um, from a local Vancouver-based developer. Just so you know, I've been nice. uh, before before the first release. Um, he took me over. Invited me over to where he was uh, living at the time, which was by a lake. And him and his brother went out on this boat and um, got us fresh crab for dinner. Oh, wow. Uh, and then I gave me nice. early access to the, to the game. And yeah, very nice. Did the early access come in the crab? Did, did the crab <laughs> yeah. give you the early access? Yeah. Well? Yeah. No. Um, yeah, I remember that game. I, he's still on my friends with us, actually. So we're we getting a DM. I've never been invited like, out for, for crab for dinner for an early access game. Oh, you're doing well, mate. No, it's, it's, it's a little thing. It's I think like like Slavic magic's a little bit like that in you no know, Man of Laws. You know these these one small group developers, they're the special ones really. There's where the real magic and passion comes out with a game sometimes. So yeah, yeah I think you know he, that's cool. He, cre he created the original one as a tech demo for a VR game. Oh uh, but really? Then, but then he realized like. Um, this you has know, got legs. This has got legs. It could just be a standalone game. So then he, I think, I think that's, I think that's what happened. Because I mean, the other game that he released. Oh, I don't think it's on Steam anymore. Oh, did he? I, I mean, I, VR kind of snipe World War Two sniper game. Oh was yeah, yeah. Things he developed as well. He, he he brought out another game. I don't think he's done as well as it. The second. Second. No, yeah, was that the the zombie one? Yeah. Don't wonder why that didn't take off. Uh, I don't zombie, know. I, zombie craze has died. 
Too many yeah. what, sorry? Z- zombie craze oh, is kind of fizzled yeah, out a bit, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's gone. Um, but yeah, though the, the first one must have made him a, a great profit. You know, a really nice uh, a, a building block to push on with the next game. He developed it himself, yeah. Uh, mm. just, just him. No, no one yeah. else. That's why uh, if this was Slavic Magic, you know, it could really kick off for him. But think of um, the pressure on you, you know. I, I don't know how many staff he has now, but he, I think he probably has maybe, I, I would I would guess probably maybe half a dozen members of staff. So that give him a bit more of a boost then for, for growth for the next that, game. That's, that's me speculating. I don't actually know how many members of staff he has. Yeah, this I would not love to go to, once COVID's done and, done and dusted, I, I might just be like, oh, hey, do you want to uh, <laughs> speak at all? <laughs> Catch up, yeah. Let's come to the studio. I own a company in Vancouver. So do you. You bring the crab, I'll bring the meat. (laughs) (laughs) You bring the crab, I'll bring the meat. No, the me. (laughs) I thought the meat. I was going to say the meat. Yeah. The crab Uh, and our meat. And I don't. I don't know if it's going to have the same craze as it did before. Mm. Hopefully, it does. Well, imagine Uh, going from how many how many units could you have in the first one? Uh, Mm, you would never lag? Know. It would lag too much. Um, it, what made like what? Fifty thousand? Thirty thousand? Or thirty? Thirty thousand yeah, so, comfortably. So thirty thousand comfortably uh, to a million comfortably that they showed in was that in yeah. the trailer? A million yes. odd? Then yeah, that's yeah. that's. I mean, uh, I look forward to the return of Rambler's survival battles. Three hundred mm. Spartans versus a million Persians. Talking talk, talking to that very very quickly, and it, it you remember Kaiser and Wolfman. Oh machine, yeah, doing the machinima. the machinimas, yeah, the machinima he's, races. He's, he's just mailed me saying that he's he's just brought one out the siege of Alexandria. He's trying to revive Ooh. his machinima scene, so that's one to check out. So he said, "Could you help spread the word?" Here we go. Check yeah. him out, Kaiser. Or well, one Shut of up. you that are still out there at this point. You're sorry, dude. Or or one of you that's still out there listening. Yeah. 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 Point. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, listen to the podcast all the way through. If you're if you're listening right now. Uh, comment that you're still listening or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's, what's, that's what's a a sec- we need a secret yeah. message, don't we? Yeah, um, and we're getting no comments back. Yeah, <laughs> millions of characters are on screen. I think uh, in the announcement. Uh, yep, at least a million. One point three million in the trailer he had on screen. Okay. Have they think, set a release date? 60, yes. Damn. Was it in it's Unity? Uh, yes. I don't know what. Release date. Release date. There's there is there isn't one. There isn't one. There's no. There's no. There's not. Sometime 2021. Yeah. I keep thinking it's 2020 for some reason. I can't get my head around 2021. We were all trying to forget last year. (laughs) Yeah. Any other any other games we've missed that we've missed? Valheim. That seems to be taking a bit of a a craze. Good for a stream, I think. Maybe Valheim. Was it a Viking survival game? Isn't it? Yeah, but if if you go on if you go on Steam. The, the review people are actually people apparently are saying it's a conspiracy that these are bot accounts that are making the reviews so good um really? because it's, yeah if you go on, it's overwhelmingly positive that's the only thing you've got Thirteen thousand views it looks fun but it it doesn't look is it early access like or is it actually fully released like early access, access game. Okay. like it's yeah it seems it's a different art style it's kind of an old style art style isn't it Okay, so here we go. Has more gameplay, less bugs, and is polished better than most AAA games while still being in early access. I would pay forty dollars for this game. How much is it? I don't know. Fifteen pounds forty nine. Yeah, fifteen pounds forty nine. Uh, I just that's finished some... beating the first boss. Valheim some... is like Minecraft version of Dark Souls with Fallout building survival. Mm. Yeah, these sound. Hmm. I've heard I've heard good things from from like viewers that have jumped into Twitch streams recently about it, but I just. I don't have the time right now to, to to check it out, but if it's an early access, I'll I'll keep keep my eyes peeled. Peeled on for it. That. Is it eyes peeled? Um, is peeled? Whatever it is. Yeah, oh, it, yeah eyes eyes open. Um, I want to say you know we haven't said enough yet. Super Juice, Super Seducer Three. I'm looking forward to that. Do Are I you? stream? Do it. Do I stream it? Is there a stream mode? Uh, is, I, why? Oh. oh because, like, you, because it's yeah, oh. naked isn't it? This is snow. Ah, hello, hello snow. I don't want cuddles. No, no. <laughs> Get, you hear my voice. 
Have what you got you want, snow in your where you where you are? Have you got snow? Uh, we had the shittiest little sprinkling uh. ever. It was so disappointing. Cause you know, you know as well when you check the weather app and it'll be like snow is coming, snow is, and you're like yes, and then you oh, keep yeah. checking it and it keeps getting pushed back hour by hour. Yeah, you're like, yeah. snow's not coming. <laughs> snow's not coming. Cold. Yes, is that trolls or is that weather out does? Yeah, like we got we got a light dusting. I mean, it was it was bloody cold. It dropped to like minus three. Um, it's too cold, doesn't it? Uh, it gets um, to the certain threshold. It gets too cold. And then yeah, it just didn't. It just didn't snow. I was just like, oh, what's the, what's the point of getting this cold if you're not going to give me, you know, a big old dump of white stuff? Hey, are you going to get super seducer three line? Are you gonna... <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm maybe. Look, I, I'm, 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 I'm happally married. I don't need to super seduce anyone anymore. I've already, I've already oh, won. Bing. Come on, I'm, I'm, I can, yeah. <laughs> I might get some tips. To... Yeah, no, I, I want to see if I can beat the game. Although, I, although that I, have, guy coming up. I haven't got Lady Lanhart anything for Valentine's Day, so maybe I'll get no. a super seducer three. She had a freaking card. That's all she's getting. <laughs> oh, come on, in 14 years now, can't be asked. <laughs> What am I doing? Um, I'm making my uh, lady um, like a just a ro homemade roast dinner. Oh, that's just reminded me. I tell you what, I am loving Hello Fresh, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, Hello I've got Hello Fresh as well. We just oh, got it. Beautiful. We're gonna we're we're gonna have the we're gonna have the chicken the chicken pie tonight. Oh right. How, how many how many did you order? We had uh, three, three meals. Three three meals yeah, a week. We, yeah. Three, oh, we do three meals a month. We're poor. Uh, we can do three meals a month. Um, so we had the steak with. Well, we get you get new menus every week, don't you? So mm. we've got one coming in the end of Feb. As well, well, I had a I had a discount uh, voucher and a, and a link yeah. from someone that I got like a, right. a month a month for like thirty percent off or something. So we were going to try it for a month and then keep all the recipe cards. And then probably just buy all yeah. the stuff and do it ourselves. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're kind we're kind of thinking we might just we might do HelloFresh like this month and then try was it Hey Hey Gusto the next month and just yeah. get all their yeah. recipes and then uh, and then quit all of them and then we've just because it's it, the, the thing I do like about it is that it makes you try different things like but super easy because you've already got all the ingredients so you don't have to faff about oh I need to get this bit spice mm. or just this it combination of ingredients. I did the you did the uh, the beef teriyaki the other day and that was that was delightful. Was it? Yeah, I think as well at the moment with the way things are in the current situation we're in, the uh, convenience of the HelloFresh boxes yeah. are very appealing for people. Yeah, it is it is expensive for sure. But it's um... expensive, and if you're looking for uh, healthy meals, HelloFresh is not really the way. If you look at the <laughs> If you look at the caloric intake, the amount of salt and the amount of fat that are in those meals. Um, Shit. And sugar. We had um, dough from our potatoes, yeah. Can you imagine the cream intake with that bad boy? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so if you look at the back of the cards, it should have the nutritional information. And I was mm. shocked when I read, like, oh, this, I like, look at that. I don't know, this bit of salmon with roasted potatoes and vegetables was, like, Ooh, lovely calories or something. I don't know, it's just ridiculous. Um, we have 2,000 a day. Hmm? You have two thousand a day. Your optimum calorie intake. I need. I'm. I'm trying to put on weight, but I'm. I'm being unsuccessful. You, with you need to eat more than two thousand. Then really, I think you, oh, have yeah. to, you have to. You have to literally can't um, load yourself with calories. It's ridiculous. What I had today is a slice of toast and a banana. Oh right. Uh, I'm gonna have homemade chili for lunch. I like making chili. I think you burn two thousand a day, or and then you maybe at a calorie deficit if you don't have enough to compensate. My Fitbit's telling me that oh, I don't know that I'm burning like maybe twenty two, twenty three hundred calories a day. Yeah, I walk a lot, so yeah, that's that's gonna that's gonna make a difference. It's gonna um, make a difference. But yeah, I like making a I like making a nice homemade chili. And as a did I mention this in the last in the last in the last podcast? I think, where, I think you, where have, I, uh, you have mentioned chili before, but I, I've got a lot yeah, of time I've for chili. Like I don't know potential cholesterol I, in my diet, yeah. so I um. Half the amount of turkey I put in and put tofu in instead. Mm. Um, so I'm still putting extra lean turkey mints, lots of chili, and lots of vegetables and stuff. Oh, we were talking about this, yes, because you said yeah. that you have you just have the major, major squits. Yes. Yeah. It's a. Yeah. Uh, it's a. Uh... I had I had chili con carne last night and bloody hell this morning I had to have the window open for a lot longer. <laughs> 
You oh. didn't close the window after about 10 minutes, but the window was open for a lot longer. I just make this massive vat. Oh. Of chili. Uh, he's, he's getting pulled. He's getting pulled. The wife's calling. Chloe's, Chloe's got the leash in now. You can see it. It's Chloe. over. <laughs> they ran over and Rambler's going on about HelloFresh. Come on, come on, come on, come in, come in, come in. Chloe, Chloe, I want to see Chloe. Come I want to see Chloe. Come and say hi. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> they loud halfway, guys. Yeah. Yay. All right. Yeah, go sort yourself out. Yeah, have a shower. <sighs> uh, so that's a that's a routine Watch when she gets back from work. Gets uh, straight in the shower. Don't blame her. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. What to talk about? Um. Solaris? Wait, what, is it... saying some Solaris? Saying something oh, about? yeah. Solaris has a new extension if you play Solaris. Um, Nemesis. We should get they never did a third season of Stellaris YouTuber War. Which... They should have done because uh, that, that I think, is probably one of my favorite events uh, that we did. Yeah. The Despite... second season yeah. was by far the best. The second one season to film. was amazing. Despite, the I think, most season. of us getting ill in that second season because it was so cold in that cave. <laughs> oh, yeah, Marvel did, uh, like, he he was struggling by the end, and I I had like a runny cold throughout it. I kept on saying into the microphone, "I'm really sorry, who's ever editing this?" Because I keep snuffling and. <laughs> um, Stellaris Nemesis is the new DLC. Yeah. Uh, I would like to know a few features about it. I am just getting that up now. Uh, the player will be able to determine the fate of a destabilizing galaxy, which adds in espionage tools, a path to power as the galactic custodian. Uh, there's also an endgame crisis. Uh, you may be able to make the choice between chaos or control or take charge of a galaxy spiraling into chaos. So it looks like they're making an expansion pack similar to that of the espionage features that Hoy put in last year. Mm. Maybe. I don't know. That's pretty cool. I, I, I haven't like played Solaris for a while. Thing, so maybe I'm confusing that. Need to need to get back into it and try it out, I think. Solaris is a solid game. It doesn't mm. perform well on YouTube for me at all. Uh, yeah, like no, no one cares <laughs> for me at least. Like I know, I know Ace Spec. Uh, you know that's yeah. his, that's his that's bread his and butter. Carved that out. That's his his yeah. territory. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'd be tempted to like stream it for sure. Yeah. Good fun. Um, Stolaris. Stolaris is a very good game, especially it's it's. Uh, I'd say it for me, it's probably more enjoyable now than Sins of a Solar Empire. Yeah. Into yeah. a solar empire. God. Good old, good old Sosa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those are the days. Recently? It, it was it, who is it that does that? Re rebellion? Not rebellion. Uh, re something. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't no, know what's happened to them? Into the solar empire rebellion. Uh, oh, Stardock. The... Stardock. Ironclad games. That's the one. Oh, oh they're, they're in, in... Oh, in Burnaby. I can Where's drive that? there. Oh. Kate, okay, take some crab with you and uh, get right in there. <laughs> get some crab. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to turn, to turn up to every event now with just like, just be like, ha da, fresh crab. <laughs> yeah. Give us crab. I, I can't. They haven't released anything since. Oh, the Ultimate Edition in 2019, the Sins of the Soda Empire Ultimate Edition. Yeah. Huh. Oh, 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 he's going. Lion's going. We've lo we're losing Lion. Here. <laughs> I'm just he's wondering if they're still open. Or are they defunct now? What's going on? Ironclad, reach out to me. I'll tell you what, we should, what we should be doing. We should be doing all this at the beginning of the, of the Warcast and then get this all out of the way and then we can have a little discussion about do, do life. The, do all the yeah, proper talking and, uh, the <laughs> and then... And the toilets and all that sort of stuff. And... Yeah. Well... Maybe, 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 maybe next time on the Warcast. <laughs> Are we going? Is that it? We're done? <laughs> <laughs> We're off. I, I, I yeah. think so. I think, I think we've covered, you've, we've you've covered lost us. everything. Yeah, sorry. I killed it. I've killed the podcast. Yeah, you've lost it. You lost it for you. are all over. Killed it, Dad. Um, yeah. No, I think we've spoken about a lot today. A lot of Yeah, um, yeah it's been good. We've already got this podcast done in half an hour, but typical fashion of us, it's two, two hours. Yeah. But we we've never gone. We've, I think the shortest we've ever done is we've never gone under an under an hour, have we? We've never done under no. an hour. It's just not possible. 
There's, no. there's... It would never happen. No. We, we, we've got to talk about random stuff. And, and still no guests. And... Yeah, no. Still no guests. Still no guests. Charm yeah, we've got Charmander now. There we go. It's over that way. Uh, I, I I brought, you had your kids come on. Charmander plushie. That's the, thing, that's the thing, you see. That's the ironic thing about it. Is we have more guests from our own bloody houses than we do have, you know, we have guests from my kid, your cat, your wife, my wife. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invite the yeah. UPS guy to come upstairs next time. Yeah. The mask on. Cat's good in your window. Yeah, but he's, yeah, he's just got a little bugger. Yeah. Oh, I hope Gemma's going to say, wait till he has a baby. Yeah, yeah, I'll be like, wee! Yay! Don't do what I, I, I am... did. Drop it or something. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I am, I am, I am planning to try and do a full uh, Lion King moment. Yeah, you got, you got to do it like I did. Yeah, yeah you got to, you know, raise it up to the camera. Yeah. Just need to find a nice big old, big old rock fact, somewhere. I, I dropped Edward after that. That's why he turned out to be a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Yeah, I'm no, gonna get I'm gonna get a little Rafiki costume on, and <laughs> yeah, you gotta do it. You gotta you gotta do it. Yeah. What? Yeah. Sorry, Jen. I was dropped on my head. Thanks very much. So you just you just you're just passing it forward then. Passing he'll, it forward, and he'll, yeah. he'll 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 drop his son on his head. I don't think they can see that. <laughs> yeah, they I can, can't I see can. that. No, they can't oh, see that. Can. I can see that on the Discord though. <laughs> oh great! Oh, oh, okay. oh god! <laughs> sure, Jovi can't she, see that. She was showing showing you some very. Very uh, potent symbols of her love for you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, I, I, he's still trying to find that thing about. <laughs> Are they still open? No, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. It's gone. Let it go. There's twenty go. Ironclad Games Corporation, but I have no idea if they're uh, actually still around. Still no. alive, Ironclad. Let us know. December twenty nineteen. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Uh, I guess they're technically still. It must be a very small studio now. Yeah, hmm. it's over. It's over, Rambler. You have the high ground. Farting. <laughs> what? You're not farting? Oh, it's descending to madness. Right, I'm going. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Um, yeah. Whatever. Uh, what else do we do? We have anything to promote? Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to this channel. Still find yes. a sponsor. Sponsor. Oh yeah. Guest sponsor. <laughs> Let's get a guest on for next time. We promise next time we'll have a oh, guest. <laughs> oh God, don't yeah. make oh, that's a grand that's a grand promise. No one what no one's watching at this I point, so my I I will I will find us a guest. Oh, my God. Was any any hillbilly off the street? Some random off the street. <laughs> no, I don't approach people. <laughs> go on, you go on the podcast. Even in a non pandemic. <laughs> I don't go near <laughs> people. Ew. Oh God. No, we'll, we'll get someone, but no one's watching, so no one cares. No one hears this. So, yeah. No one knows. But if you do, comment, head. comment, uh, no. comment, chili. <laughs> Just the word chili. If you're still Sweet. watching right now, put the word chili. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching. Bye, 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 bye,